Hey guys, today on this video, I will show you how we can upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported PC. So if you have older PC that does not support Windows 11 upgrade, then you will be able to uh, use the method that I will show you here uh, to upgrade your PC to Windows 11. So let me check on this PC and you can see here uh, it does not support Windows 11 system requirements so I can't upgrade it through the official method uh, by Microsoft so if you have a uh, same situation like this let me show you how you can upgrade Windows 11 on your Windows 10 or older PC so let's get started first of all we will need two ISO files we will need ISO file for Windows 11 and we will also need ISO file for Windows 10 so let me download Windows 11 ISO file so I'll put this link in the description below. So you can just click on that link to go to Windows 11 uh, ISO download page. And if you scroll down here, you can see this option. So you should be selecting this one, Windows 11 disk image ISO. So here you select Windows 11 and click on download. Now you have to select uh, the language, select your language and click on confirm. Now click on this 64-bit download. Now it will be downloading Windows 11 ISO file. So as you can see here, Windows 11 ISO file has been uh, downloaded. Now let's download Windows 10 ISO file. And for that, what you have to do is uh, I'll put the link in the description below. You can click on that link or just change this Windows 11 to Windows 10 on the link and press enter. So as you can see here, uh, you don't have an option to download ISO file uh, directly from this website. So either you can use this option right here, but I don't want to download an uh, extra file for that. So let me show you how we can do this on Google Chrome so just click uh, this option right here and click on more tools and click on developer tools and here on developers uh, tools um, after this is open make sure this one is selected right here and click on refresh and here you can see um, the option to select edition so if you see that you are good and you can close this developer tool or if you are not seeing uh, this option just select you know the, this phone tool right here and refresh the web page so let me close that one and here select windows 10 and click confirm now select language click confirm and download 64-bit Now we have Windows 10 and Windows 11 ISO file. So let me create a new folder for both of these ISO. So one for Windows 10 and one for Windows 11. So now what we have to do is extract the content inside this ISO file. And let me copy everything. And this is for Windows 10. So Windows 10, let me copy everything and let me paste it here on Windows 10 folder. All right, so this has been copied and let's do same for Windows 11 ISO file as well. Let's copy everything from ISO file and let's based on Windows 11 folder. All right, this has been copied as well. So now we can delete this ISO file. I have, uh, I don't have much storage on my uh, computer, so I'm gonna delete it. So 
if you have enough storage you can keep it uh, let me delete this two iso file all right before that uh, let me unmount this all right so now what we have to do is uh, go to this windows 10 folder and open sources folder and here find install.wim this file here now uh, we have to delete uh, this file from the windows 10 folder and go back to the windows let's go back to the windows 11 folder and here go to sources and here find the same file install.wim so we can replace this file on windows 10 so let's go here and let's go to win uh, sources folder inside windows 10 and we have to paste uh, that install.wim file here so paste it here now after that let's go inside windows 10 folder and here you can see set of file so now we can start installing windows uh, 11 and this will bypass all those uh, requirements check up on your PC so you can install Windows 11 without any problem so you can select this not right now and you can uncheck that one and click on next so yeah you can click on accept so you can see here this is going to install Windows 11 Pro on this computer and it will keep all your personal files and apps so you'll be able to upgrade your PC easily so this will start uh, installation although you can see Windows 10 here it's actually installing Windows 11 on your computer so this will take a while and after a few minutes your PC will be upgraded to Windows 11 so this is how we can install Windows 11 on our PC without losing our data or apps uh, if uh, your PC is not compatible with Windows 11 so if you got any problem in this process, you can just write in the comment section below and we will figure it out for a new solution. This much for this video guys. Thank you for watching.